level. And in here, let's pass in string level tiles path. And let's do this dot level tiles is equal to loader dot load image. And in here, let's do level tiles path. And let's actually update this. So let's do, instead of image here, let's do level tiles. And let's go ahead and go back to our set level. And let's do int width is equal to level tiles dot get width. And int height is equal to level tiles dot get height. And then let's do a nested for loop. So for int i is equal to zero. I is less than height. I plus plus. And for int j is equal to zero. J is less than width. J plus plus. Okay, so just to go over this logic. So we are using our buffered image loader and we're calling this load image method that we created, which basically allows us to load in a, a image. And the image that we wanna load in is this level tiles path that we pass in. And that value is equal to this parent folder plus or concatenated with dash one underscore one dot png. So what this is essentially doing is it's loading in this first image, um, which is our image that represents our level. And we're just, yeah, we're just loading it in. And then after, the, after we do that, we get the width and the height of that image. And now we're going to iterate through basically each pixel of this image. And we're going to go ahead and do that now. So let's go ahead and do, um, let's create some spaces here. And let's do int pixel is equal to level tiles dot get RGB and IJ. And here, let's do a little bit of um, math to parse this. So let's do pixel um, shift and then 16 and then logical and and um, hex value FF. And let's do int green is equal to so shift eight logical and same thing and int blue is equal to pixel logical and and the same thing All right hex ff okay so to go over this real quick so the way we get our pixel value is by doing this so we're going to our buffered image and we're calling this get RGB method and this get RGB method if we just hover over it it returns a type int argb um, which is essentially a uh, or, or okay so it, it, re it returns a pixel in this um, RGB color model and this sRGB color space. And essentially what this means is this single integer that this function returns is going to represent the RGB value or the pixel color value um, at this X and Y position. And that X and Y position in this first 
iteration through the loop is going to be 0, 0. So, and then in the second iteration of this inner loop, j will become 1, and we'll get the 0, 1, so the y will be 1, and then the next loop will do 0, 0, 2, and then 0, 3, 0, 4, and after all that, we'll go to 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, and we're going to go through the whole image. And we're going to get the pixel at whatever point we're at. And then after that, we're going to do some math on this pixel to parse out the color from it. And so for those of you who don't really um, aren't too familiar with shifting and doing logical ands, I'll just briefly go over this. So the way this get RGB works is it returns a integer which is four bytes. Um, so let me just write in the comments here. So get RGB returns a uh, integer which is four bytes um, which is the same thing as um, 32 bits okay and one bit is represented by either a zero or a one and so you have you know like 32 of these and I guess I'll just write them out um, okay so we have 32 of these and let's do some commas here so this is our integer that gets returned from this and then the way that this is formatted is the um, least significant values so the ones all the way on the right are the blue values so these eight are going to be blue. Uh, okay, let's 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 just um, to keep it sim or to keep it organized. Even though it might take a little bit more time, we'll go ahead and do this. So this is blue. This is um, green, and this is red, and this is alpha and so for our sake we can ignore alpha and just use the RGB values and so if you want to get this um, let's start with the blue value so if you want to get this blue value what are we what are we doing we're getting this this entire 32-bit pixel integer value and we're doing this logical and on it Okay, so we're going to do a logical AND on it with um, this value. So let's do another note up here. So 0xff, that's a hex value. That's the same as, or that's equal to um, 1234, 1234. Okay, so let's go ahead and write that right here so 1234 1234 and all these other values on the left of it are just going to be zeros and what a logical and is is it basically says if both of the values at this pixel value so let's go ahead and do the and here um, and okay so it's saying if both of these values are 1, then it's going to be 1. So say our blue value is just only 1 here, right? So then our result will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And everything to the left is just going to be 0. And so essentially what this is doing is it's allowing us to get this blue most value and it stores it in this blue um, integer. Now what the shift does is it essentially shifts all the bits over. So say the green value is a one over here and let's just say, let's just put in some values here for these. So let's do one, one, whatever. 
and let's just do like a one here and a like one here. So now, okay, so now this is the blue value. So let's go ahead and copy this. Um, copy this. Okay. Um, hey, let's just shift this over. Okay, so this is our this is our next one that we're gonna do. So now we're trying to get. All right, so now we're trying to look at the blue one, right? So we're doing a a shift first, um, a shift of a pixel. So this this is pixel, right? Um, this value up here. So we're gonna shift eight times. So what that's gonna look like is we're going to remove the least significant bits, right? Because we're shifting. So if we shift once, what is that gonna look like? We delete this and we just append a zero at the end here. And we do that eight times, so we just delete all of these, and um, zeros just fill in on the left. Okay, so now we have something like this, and let's add a comma back here. And, all right, so now we no longer have these blue values. So now it looks like this. And now we're going to go ahead and parse this green value here. So we're going to get this. Remember, because of logical and. And everything to the left, these are all zeros here. So when you do ands with zeros, um, it's going to all be zeros here as well. So that's essentially what this is doing. It's just doing some logic to extract the value from this. And it's based on how this get RGB value is specified. And so that's all that's happening there. So let's go ahead and remove all of this. So now that we understand this part of it, let's go ahead and continue adding some logic. So the next thing we want to do is this if red is equal to 255 and green is equal to 255 and blue is equal to 255. We just want to continue. Um, so we, we were essentially skipping over this. We're not doing any logic on this on this pixel value. And this, when all the RGB values are the max value, 255, that means that it's a white pixel. And if you remember from this, we had some white pixels in here. Um, in our background, right? So if it's still white pixel, then we just don't do anything with it, which makes sense. And now we want to just add some logic here. So let's do add or if red is equal to 255. 